Hey there fellow modelers, back with you again. Now that the upper torso and arms are completely finished, uh, it's time to start working on the lower body. Uh, got the uh, abdomen is up next, or the uh, I guess the, the hips and waist. I'm kind of going a little bit out of order. The instructions call for uh, the legs next, but um, I always like to do basically from, from head to toe uh, with the legs being last because, well, if you've already got the waist built as you're doing the legs, you can attach the legs and then you can stand it there right then. Whereas if you're building the legs and you don't have the waist done, then you have a leg, a leg, a torso, and nothing to do with it. So, um, it's just kind of a little little quirk of the way I like to do things, but um, it's always seemed to work for me. Um, but uh, yeah, from what I can see, there's not much to it. You know, just three runners and uh, the polycap set. Uh, looks like only about a two dozen parts, so it shouldn't take too long. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm really starting to get annoyed with my friggin' camera. <laughs> it's so unpredictable as to when it will actually uh, start to record video. I'll push the button, nothing will happen. And naturally, I'm a bonehead, so I don't, I don't ever notice. Um, so yeah, you just missed me... Uh, spending the last uh, 10 minutes or so assembling the, uh, the lower body. Um, so yeah, it's got uh, a little dock for the, uh, the, the core fighter to mount to. Uh, the skirt armors are all ball jointed and hinged and, uh, and extremely, uh, extremely well articulated. Um, so that uh, um, the legs can, uh, can, can move basically in any direction uh, without uh, without any trouble. Um, uh, once the core fighter is in place, uh, there it goes, uh, yeah, you can just slide it into the uh, into the torso and it locks together and it's good and solid and stable. Unless you give it a good shake like that. I think uh, I think there's a peg that I, uh, I yeah, there it goes. There's a, a, a peg and a hole kind of system that locks it together a little bit more stably. But, um, but yeah, so the uh, the torso can can move and shift around, so he's got a, a little bit of a a little bit of waist movement. Uh, it can turn from side to side. Um, so as it turns out, this is the first version of this gun, and they can actually do the twist. Ha ha ha! Um, and right here, there's the uh, that's the peg for uh, for mounting uh, this to one of Bandai's action base uh, display stands. Uh, I don't have one in here at the moment, so I can't attach it to it, but. Uh, I'll get one in time for uh, my next, uh, the next segment of this video. Um, so yeah, now all that's left is the uh, the legs, and then the the, the main body of uh, of the Gundam is finished. Then it'll be on to the weapons. <sighs> anyway, so here I've uh, I've attached it to uh, one of the action base uh, display stands. Um, Bandai started uh, started making these about three years ago. Um, just a fairly standard uh, uh, stand here uh, that can be linked. Uh, see, it's got pegs and slots and everything, so it can be linked to uh, basically an unlimited number um, of them, like infinitely expandable. It's got all kinds of techie details and conduits and pipes and everything molded into it, so it kind of looks like the floor of a uh, of a, a, a mobile suit hanger or something. Um, the display arm here uh, is extendable. It can uh, telescope out to almost double its distance. Um, it can, you know, swing in any direction. Um, there's another hinge up here at the top. Um, the brace uh, here is also te uh, can telescope uh, using a notch, um, and uh, each base has about eight or nine, too, too lazy to count, um, little holes where, uh, where the base can actually attach to. Um, so, uh, so it can, it can make for some pretty, uh, some pretty cool displays. Um, when these were first released, I remember I ordered about, uh, ugh, I can't even begin to guess how many I ordered, but it was a lot of them. <laughs> Probably about eight or ten. Um, uh, actually, it might have even been more. I think it might have been as many as a dozen. Um, 
and uh, I've had them all. Well, mo most of them are still on display, but a few of them I uh, um, I retired the models that they were on, uh, that were on them, and uh, this stands just kind of went into the closet. So, but uh, they're pretty cool. They're not too expensive. They're about five dollars a piece uh, to order to import. Um, so uh, yeah, they're definitely worth it for uh, for for dynamic uh, uh, model displays.